pretty quick because I have somewhere to go. But I was like, all right, let me just film the beginning of this video. Today I'm doing another drugstore concealer battle. I'm doing the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer versus the CoverGirl. Quickly going to put on my foundation. Once again, using the Born This Way Matte This Foundation in the color Chestnut. The color I have in the CoverGirl is Warm Honey, T300 Warm Honey. Now, it was so hard to find my color in the store. Even the swatches online, it just didn't match what these things, what these colors look like in the store. So, I hope this is an okay color. I feel it's going to have to be okay, but I know it probably doesn't match the L'Oreal one, so I'm going to end up having to mix that. Um, so, CoverGirl's going on the right side of my face. Yeah. Like I thought, it's real light, but I can make it work. I've, I've made lighter work, not lighter, but I can make this work super light. This is Warm Honey, so, and it's crazy because in the store, Warm Honey looked like it was perfect. Like, if you look at it, in the, it's way lighter than it is in the bottle. So, if I like this one, this concealer, I'm going to have to get another color. And then the L'Oreal, I'm using the, the shade 405, so since both of them are light, I guess it'll just, you know, give me that real highlighted. I guess I'm going for a super highlight today. So I'm going to, let's blend out the CoverGirl side. So CoverGirl blended out really good. I honestly feel like there's nothing on my face. It covered pretty well underneath my eyes, but I think that if I would have let it sit a little bit, and I'm going to put a little bit right there for my dark circle, that it would have um, gave me that fuller coverage. To say that it, is, it says True Blend Undercover Concealer, I mean, it doesn't, it's supposed to be full coverage. Everything that I've heard about it says that it's supposed to be full coverage. But now that the L'Oreal has set on my face a little longer, see? This is what the face looks like. It looks super light in this light, but when you see it in person, it's not. So I'm going to show you what it looks like outside because I did correct it a little bit uh, with some more powder because it was a little too light. But the colors don't match. So right now, honestly, the L'Oreal side is, is taking the cake because I can't see any darkness. But they both feel the exact same. Honestly, they look the same other than that little like knowing that the L'Oreal covers a little bit more but other than that like I could wear either one of these because I feel I literally feel like I don't have anything on my face so let's see what it looks like outside and then just see how they wear throughout the day this is what we look like outside this is what we look like outside pretty good they look the same I wanted to give you guys a better look at what it looked like in the sunlight. Both of the concealers looked really pretty, made my skin look flawless. I just didn't too much care for the color. This is two hours later. 
both still look good. No creasing, no nothing. It could honestly be the same concealer. This is the end of the day. I've worn the concealer for about six hours at this point. Honestly, I could go either way. Honestly, it felt like it was just about the same. But since this day, I've worn the L'Oreal way more than the CoverGirl. So I would say that the L'Oreal concealer won.